Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It dawned on me this morning as I was just about to eat that every time someone is preaching the word of God, what I'm always looking out for is that word from God through that person to me. Because the way I know is that when the person is talking, that's why as a man of God, I don't think, I don't put myself in the position of a man of God in the church. I am a part of the service. When it is my time to serve, I go to the altar to serve. But every other aspect, we do it together. Because I am always looking out for one word that God will speak through somebody that will be my spoken word for that day. I don't know why I have to share that with you. Maybe it's because there's a word coming for you today. And if you can hear it as the word of God, then you will have the testimony. But for the Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I'm here this morning with my daughter that is gifted in the prophetic anointing. She's going to be a blessing to you. And after she finishes her section, I'm going to come up and pray with you. And I trust God that this day will be highly enriched by God, and you will have testimony to share in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, let's welcome Moshe. Let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to appreciate His name. Let's begin to worship His name. Let's thank Him for the gift of life. He has brought us to another day. Lord, we thank You. We appreciate Your name. We worship Your name. For preserving our lives, we thank You. You kept us through this past week. It's not by our power, it's not by our might, but it's just by Your mercy. Lord, we thank You for counting us special to be alive today, O oh God. It is you that is worthy of our praise. It is you that is worthy of our worship. It is you that is worthy of our adoration. It is you that is worthy of all our thanksgiving. And that's why we're giving it back to you this morning. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate your name. We exalt your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 For all that you have done, we thank you. For the things you're doing right now, we thank you. For the things you will still do, oh God, we appreciate your name, we exalt your name. Why? Because we know that everything will manifest. Lord, we thank you. We exalt your name. We worship your name. And Lord, I pray this morning that those that are watching me right now, they will be blessed. Amen. You will speak directly through me to them in the name of Jesus Christ. That one word, that one word, that one word that they have been waiting for, that sign that they have prayed for, that message that they have been thirsty for. Oh Lord, I pray that this morning you will speak through me to them, oh God. And the message will be very direct to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you our worship this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So the scripture that the Holy Spirit gave me this morning is Jeremiah 33, verse 3. It says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. When he gave me that scripture, I said, Holy Spirit, what does this mean? And he told me, specifically actually even before i stepped into the studio he said there is a woman that is going through a divorce mm -hmm. and he said you know right now you are devastated you know you are losing your husband you are losing your home and you are scared of even losing your kids and the message that the lord said i should give you is call on to me mm -hmm. He said, you should come back to him. You, you are thinking to yourself, who will I run to? What lawyer can I even employ? I do not want to lose this case. I'm losing my home. I don't want to lose my children. I don't want to lose my happiness. Only God is the one that can give eternal Hallelujah. happiness. And he's telling me to tell you this morning you, that Lord you Jesus. should call unto him. Hallelujah. He said, call unto me. Hallelujah. Call unto me and Hallelujah. I will answer thee. He said, he will show you great and mighty Hallelujah. things that you do not even know wow. of. I the Lord said that he is opening Hallelujah. doors for you. He said he is making a way for you. He said he is making a way for you. He said he is making a way for you. Directly to that woman that is going through a divorce right now. Yes, the Lord said that that divorce case, because I see like a court, he said you are going, he's going to make you win that case. Why? Because he wants to glorify his name upon your life. 
There is a reason why it's going to make you win that case. And he said, after you win that case, there shall be a way that will open up for you. Oh, yeah. And in your, in your heart, you are praying that the Lord should give you happiness. Because it's more like you are not happy, you are losing your home, like I said earlier on. Only God can grant Thank eternal you. happiness. Happiness that doesn't come with a price. Because when the devil tells you, I will do this and this for you, the devil has a price attached to it. But it's only God that can give you something without asking for anything in return. And the Lord said, I should tell you, call unto me. He said, Deborah, call unto me. He said, Deborah, call unto me. He said, Deborah, call unto me. And I will answer you. He said, I will answer you. He said, I will answer you. I will give you that which your heart truly desires. I will give you that which your heart truly desires. That thing that you desperately want from God. Mm, the Lord is speaking to me through you. He said he is going to give it to you. He said he is going to give it to you. He said he is going to give it to you. He said he is going to give it to you. To everyone watching me right now, you have that secret desire that you want from God. You have that secret thing that you have been praying that, Lord, I want you to do this and this and this for me. Thank you, Father. But somehow you are far away from God. Mm. How will you be far away from somebody and you are asking them for a favor? Mm -hmm. We all know that when you are even far away from your friends, if you, are, if you haven't spoken to your friend in three months, you will even be feeling guilty. Why do I want to call this person and ask this person to borrow me this? I haven't even spoken to this person. That is the way it is. You are far away from God, yet you are asking God for something. But the Lord wants you closer to him. And he said, call unto me. He said, call unto me and I will answer you. He said, call unto me and I will answer you. He said, call unto me and I will answer you. I want to to pray this morning. Everyone has that secret thing that you want the Lord to do for you. That secret desire that you want God to grant for you. I want you to pray this morning. Mention that thing if you can. I will give us about one minute to pray. Lord, I pray that what I secretly desire for you to do for me. Lord, I pray that the next month of August, I pray that my testimony will come to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, my secret desire. What I cry to you to at night. Lord, I pray that that testimony will come to me in the month of August. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I pray. You said I should call unto you. And now I am coming back to you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Sorry, I had to cut that off because I got another message. This message is for your mother. Your children are being wayward. And you are asking God, what do I do? You are thinking to yourself, who can I talk to? Do I have to call the head of the family? Should I speak to my husband to talk to these children? God can only walk through them. Because the Lord gave you those children. And he said that he is going to touch them. Amen. That is what I got. He said he is going to touch them. There is a mother that is watching me right now. You have two sons. And they are not acting the way you want them to act. They are not acting responsibly. They are not acting in the righteous way that you, know, you want them to act. And the Lord says, I gave you those fruits and I will touch their heart. That is what I, that, that is what I, that's what he said I should tell you this morning. He said he is going to touch the heart of your sons. Amen. He will touch the heart of your sons. He will touch the heart of your sons. He will touch the heart of your sons. From today onward, they will turn a new leaf. Amen. They will turn a new leaf. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As we were praying, I saw the picture of those boys in front of an altar. Somebody has taken the photograph of your kids in front of an altar. And they have invoked so many things upon their destiny. But from today, the Lord said he is cleansing their destiny. He said he is cleansing their de destiny. He said he is cleansing their destiny. He said he is, specifically I'm seeing the picture on a calabash. He said he is cleansing their destiny. I want us to pray right now. That everywhere that this, the destiny and glory of these children has been invoked, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That... Every, every negative intentions. In the name of 
Jesus. Lord, we pray that those intentions will not come to pass. Everything that has been sent concerning their destiny will not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that everything that has been said concerning the destiny of those boys will not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that whoever, whoever, whoever has stood somewhere and said, oh, these children will not succeed. Over my dead body will I see these children become successful than my children. Yes, Lord, over their dead body, they will die and these children will succeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. From now on, I pray for you this morning that the glory of your children will begin to shine Amen. they 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 will begin to shine Amen. brighter than they have ever Amen. shone before the lord said their glory Amen. shall begin to radiate all over Amen. do not be surprised when scholarship starts coming for these children that's what the holy spirit told me he said scholarship will start coming intellectually the lord has touched their their, their brains and from now on they will begin to excel in their academics super Oh my God. Excellently, the Lord said they will begin to excel in the Amen. academics. He said, excellently, Amen. excellently, Amen. excellently, Amen. excellently, Amen. excellent. Amen. Now they will now turn to a source of good news for you Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There shall not be any reason why you will hear good or bad news concerning your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We appreciate your name Hallelujah. for the destiny of those children that you Hallelujah. have delivered this morning. I thank you. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. As we're praying earlier on, I saw like like a hand and so something. You know when a hand is just there and then there's this other hand that just. Old, like held the hand up and the lord said i should tell us this one he said he's going to uplift us amen directly he will hold your hand amen and I take you to that level amen i receive it father the Lord said Amen. directly, He will hold your hand Amen. and take you to that next level. Amen. He said He's going to uplift you this morning. I want you to kill yourself into this prophecy and receive it. Lord, I pray that the next level that you are going to take me to, Olua, that super, Lord, I pray that directly you will uphold me and take me to that next level. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you 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 personally hold my hand and take me to that next level in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you will uphold, you will uplift me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Manto suka batunde kele bo sharaba yanda tila no kasunde kebo fasuntanaba. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for a argument. You are God all by yourself. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's such a wonderful time in God's presence. Specific words have come to you. And if it is the Lord that has spoken, He said, My hand is strong enough to bring to pass what my mouth says. The Bible says, We serve the Lord that bring the counsel of his messengers to pass. It shall be unto you as God has revealed in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I want to just pray for people who, who are due for a change of status, but somehow there is a need for activation of your helpers. You are due for a change of status, but somehow there is a need for the activation of your divine helpers. I'm going to pick my scripture from 2 Kings chapter 7. Specifically, the Lord said to me that he wants to, he wants to activate your four, lep, for your four lepers who are going to bring good news to you. The good news that will connect to where you're going. I'll read from verse 1. 
Then Elisha said, hear the word of the Lord. So this is what God is saying to Elisha. Just like God speaks to you also, he has given you vision, he has given you dreams. He has given you prophecies. You have heard men of God said it. Time has come for performance. And what God is going to do is to activate men and women who will help you. The Bible says, Elisha said, hear the word of the Lord. Don't hear the Lord God. Tomorrow about this time, each share of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel. And two seers of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. Verse 2. An officer on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Look, if the Lord will make the windows in heaven, could these things be? He said, In fact, you shall see it with your eyes, but you shall not eat of it. Now, you see, though that officer doubted, but you see, the expression of that officer is giving us an indication that if God did not step in, it's impossible for that testimony to come to pass in 24 hours. Ah, I don't know what men have said can never come to pass this year in your life. But within one week, heaven Amen. will set into your matter. Amen. What men Amen. think is going to be impossible Amen. all your life, God will bring it to pass speedily. Amen. I receive it, Father. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ah, Thou there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate. Those are the co uh, uh, covenant helpers. They were just there. But a word of the Lord had gone forth. And every time God speaks, God will always send But a word of the Lord had gone forth. And every time God speaks, God will always orchestrate the performance. But many a time, the performance of God will come with men. God will activate somebody. Somebody will just remember you. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says, there are four lepers at the entrance of the gate. And they said to one another, why are we sitting here until we die? If we say we enter the city, the famine is in the city of Samaria. And we will die there. And if we sit here, we also die. So now, therefore, let us surrender ourselves to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall only die. Verse 5. And they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they had come to the outskirts of the camp, to their surprise, there was no one there. You know why? Verse 6. For the Lord had caused the army of the Syrians to hear the noise of chariots <laughs> and the noise of horses, the noise of a great company. So they said to one another, Look, the king of Israel, as hired against us, the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians, to attack us. And they rose and fled at twilight and left the camp intact. Their tent, their horses, and their donkeys, and they fled for their lives. <laughs> you see, many a time when God is ready to walk, because we are human beings, sometimes we don't even know what God has done. That's why God will orchestrate events and circumstances. God will cause somebody that will give you an information. Somebody that will make where you are presently staying to be uncomfortable. Because there's a need for you to move to another place where you are going to see what God has done. When those four lepers moved to the camp of the Syrians, they saw that the Syrians are no more there. You know why? God is mindful of his word that he spoke to Elisha. That by this time tomorrow there shall be abundance. Even though by woman understanding it is not possible. But you see... The impossibility of men does not stop or hinder the possibilities of God. The Bible said that the king of the Syria and the army, they hear sudden noise. And they were so much afraid, they ran out of their camp and left everything there. Verse 8. And when these lepers came to the outskirts of the camp, they went into one tent, ate and drank, and carried from there silver and gold and clothing, and went to hide it. And they came back and entered another tent. And they carried from there also, and went and hid it. Hallelujah. Verse 9, then they said one to another, we are not doing the right thing. This day is a day of good news. You see, that's where it's coming. God has anointed them as the carrier of the good news. God has anointed them as the helper of the city of Samaria. They may be leprous. They may not have much value from human point of view, but it's an anointing upon them. To connect, to connect the people of Samaria with the abundance that God has provided. And I believe God is speaking to you today. 
Because as I'm talking right now, there's an activation taking place. Men have been activated on your behalf. Men have been activated on my behalf. They may not look like much in the physical sense. They may be people that you look down on. on. But God is activating them as your covenant connectors, as your, as your covenant helpers. And as I'm speaking right now, the Lord asked me to tell you that your lepers are being activated. Their are thoughts that are in their mind right now will lead them to where your own provision is waiting for you. And then they will come and connect to where your provision is waiting for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 9, they say one to another. We are not doing right. This day is a day of good news. And we remain silent. If we wait until morning light, some punishment may come upon us. Therefore, let us go uh, let us go and tell the king's household. So they went ahead and tell the king's household. And when you now look at uh, verse, verse 16 now, when you go to verse 16, you see something there. That after they went to go and tell the king's household, the king sent spies to go and check it. And they found out it was true. And verse 16 said, then the people went out. And plunder the tent of the Syrians. So a seer of flour, five flour was sold for a shekel, and two seer of barley for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. When the Syrians were packing all those gold and all those silver and all those raiment and all those food, they thought they were making provision for themselves. But in the mind of God, God was just using them to gather the treasures together for the people of Samaria. The Lord is asking me to tell someone today that what the enemy meant for evil, the hand of the Lord is turning them around for your good. Amen. God is turning them around for my good. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. When the way of a man pleased God, the Bible said that God will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. The Bible said concerning Solomon that all the years that Solomon reigned as king, all the enemy countries, none of them was able to raise eyebrow against Solomon. In fact, they were even bringing him gifts. You know why? Because when the hand of God is upon somebody, you will get unusual favor. The Lord is asking me to tell you today, an unusual favor is coming upon your life. Your, your, your helpers of destiny, they are here with activated by fire Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the force of the Almighty, they are being activated right now. Amen. Thoughts are going through their mind. Amen. Ideas will come to their mind. Amen. God will help people that will help you. Amen. God will lift up the hand of those that he will use to lift you up. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth. Amen. God will position people who will recommend you to where you are needed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, do you see a man that is diligent in his work? He will sit among kings. Uh -uh. The Lord will lift you up in, to an enviable level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Men and women that have used their mouth to ridicule your grace and your glory. The Lord asked me to tell you, they will soon come back to look up unto you. Amen. I receive it, Father. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to tell you that the season of your shame is over. I receive Amen. it, Lord. Amen. God is asking me to tell you that the season of your shame is over. Amen. I receive it, Father. God is asking me to tell someone on today, the season of your shame is over. I oh, oh, you are looking at Isaiah. Say, what can I amount to eh? with everything that has happened in my life? What is happening right now? I am nothing, I have nothing. Ah, God says, I should tell you that in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command your eyes right now to be open to the glory that God has given to you. Amen. I command that your eyes be open Amen. to see the glory God has given to Amen. you. And I activate by the grace and the mercy of God. I activate by the force of the almighty power. I activate your divine helpers right Amen. now. Men and women that will go about to speak about what you are potentially Amen. capable of doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at me. Look at me. When you hear their recommendation, you will not even believe you are the one they are talking about. Because God will make them to recommend you with a sense of perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth. The Bible says that then the people went out and plundered the tent of the Syrians. And so a seer of five flour was sold for a shekel and two seer of barley for a shekel. According to the word of the Lord. Now let's go to verse 18. So it happened just as the man of God has spoken to the king. Listen, God is sending us to you today. And I believe the God of my calling. That he will bring to pass all these words I'm speaking in, in, in his name. Amen. He will fulfill every word you are hearing from us this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It happened just as the man of God has prophesied to the king. Saying, two seer of flour for a shekel. And a seer of fine flour for a shekel. Shall be sold tomorrow about this time in the gate of Samaria. Who said it's too late? I've told him about Didi. When God arise, his enemies will scatter. Then your favors will come to you. When God arise, obstacles obstacle give way. When God arose through his glory, 
in the front of the Red Sea. What happened? The Red Sea parted. Mm. Uh -uh. I see the Red Sea that is that is between you and your breakthrough. I see them parting right Amen. now. I see the red sea of your destiny. I see them parting right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you are saying to yourself, what can I do? You don't need to do anything. Just trust the Lord and you will see the hand of God move on your behalf. Amen. Men and women will be, will be compelled to think in a particular way Amen. that we favor your rising, Amen. that we favor my rising, Amen. that we favor our ministry Amen. and our progress Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So it happened just as the man of God has spoken. Two seers of flour for a shekel, and a seer of five flour for a shekel shall be sold tomorrow about this time in the gate of Samaria. Verse 19. Verse 19, the last verse. Okay, so sorry. It, it's just verse 18. Now, God is changing your story. Amen. 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 God is saying that what is that that looks so huge and so and so gigantic before you? That mountain. I speak against that mountain Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I command the anointing for relief. Amen. Uh, if I'm reading a Tura, I command the anointing Amen. for divine relief Amen. to come upon your life and your destiny Amen. from this moment in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. If the Lord has sent me to you, Amen. you will receive that grace now. Amen. The anointing for relief. Amen. I, I, if I'm reading a Tura, the anointing for refreshing. Amen. Oh, yeah, go one more year by. Let it enter your life now. Amen. Let it enter your life now. Amen. Let every hardship stop. Amen. Let every, every, every inconvenience cease. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whatever has been making you afraid, I curse them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And I command that from today, the fear of the Lord will go before you into the camp of your enemies, whoever they may be, and God will scatter them. Amen. God will confuse their words. Amen. They will not be able to have. A, 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 a consensus again against you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we have spoken today, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. As God has asked me to speak, so shall it stand. Amen. You will not be put to shame Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're looking for a, a way to um, worship God, you can worship God with us in our church family. You know, if you are if you are looking for a church family, you can be a part of our church family. Our address is Grace Ministries International. 11214 Plainfield Street by West Belfort, Suit D, Houston, Texas 77031. 11214 Plainfield Street by West Belfort, Suit D, 77031. And in case you need you have need for counseling or prayer, you can call the number 872 731 7263. I see a new glory. Imagine upon your life. Amen. I see a new glory. Imagine upon your Amen. life. I see a new glory. Imagine upon your Amen. life. go to tombuyonu ayie in the name of Jesus, Amen. and so shall it be. Amen. This day is a glorious day for you. Amen. You will go out with peace Amen. and come back with abundance of testimony. Amen. So shall it be Amen. unto you Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Until we come again um, to you, I don't want to ever forget that no matter what you have gone through in life. Now that you are a child of God, I believe that the testimony of your life will be that you are wonderful because Jesus Amen. is real. We'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye. Wow. I'm Reverend Sam Ajibade, and I want to take this time to specially invite you to be a part of our worship service any Sunday. You know, our church address is Grace Ministries International 11214 Plainfield Street by West Belfort. Suit D 77031. Listen to me. Everybody needs someone to talk to. In case you have need for counseling, just you can just call the number 872 731 7263. Listen to me. If you are looking for a place where you will encounter God and get insight in the world, I'll invite you to be a part of our church service every Sunday morning. God bless you until I see you. Bye bye.